Okay, in this uh, lesson we'll be solving exponential equations with a base of 10. So I'll be doing 8 guided practice problems. So, if you recall, if the base is 10, then what we're going to do is log on both sides. In essence, what that does, it cancels out that base 10, and we're only left with the exponent. So, here's a couple problems. So we'll solve each of the following round to the nearest thousand. First situation, 10 to the x prop, 10 to the x equals 0 0.001. Base is 10. We'll log on both sides. Exponent comes out in front based off of the uh, power property left with x. Log 10 base 10 equals log 0 0.001 base 10. And again, in the beginning, I'm actually overemphasizing by putting this base 10. But in essence, we just need to log. Log 10 base 10 cancels, just leaves me with x. Log 0 0.001 base 10. Let's see what the calculator says. Let's clear this. Log 0 0.001. Calculator says negative 3. And if you look back, that sounds like a good answer because 10 to the third power is 1,000. The negative tells us to reciprocate. The reciprocal of 1,000 is 1, 1,000. So x equals negative 3. Next problem, 10 to the negative x equals 35. Again, to deal with this base 10, we'll log on both sides and the exponent comes out in front. Left with negative x log 10 equals log 35. Log 10 base 10 cancels leaving me with just the negative x. Right now, the x is being multiplied by negative 1. So we're going to divide negative 1 on both sides. We're left with x equals negative log 35 base 10. Notice it's not negative 35. Negative for the entire problem. So let's see what we get for negative log 35. Negative log 35. Negative 1.544 some stuff. Let's check our answer. So we've got 10 to the negative, then x. I'm going to put my answer, second answer. So that really says 10 to the negative, negative 1.544 some stuff. So negative, negative technically is positive. The answer, we actually do get 35. So the answer negative 1.544 if we round it to the nearest thousand. Next problem. Uh, same situation. 10 to the x minus 4 equals 16. We have to first deal with this 4 first. Sad map tell us, tells us to get rid of what's furthest from the unknown. So we're not going to play with the 10 first. We're going to first deal with the 4. Add 4 on both sides. 10 to the x the 4's cancel out, 10 to the x equals 20. Log on both sides, x comes out in front, we get x log 10, of course this log 10 cancels, leaving us with x equals log 20. Let's go to the calculator, calculator log 20, let me just clear this, log 20, calculator says 1.301 some stuff. I'm going to get in the habit of checking each time. So 10 to the x, so second 10 to the second answer, move it over, then subtract 1. Sorry, subtract 4. There's our 16. So 1.301-ish. 1.301. Next problem. 10 to the x plus 6 equals 7. Out of the 10 and the 6, the 10 is what's furthest from the unknown because both the 6 and the x are all part of the exponent. So we'll deal with the base 10 by first logging. The exponent comes out in front. Again, it's not just the x, it's the entire exponent. So we're left with x plus 6 log 10 equals log 7. Log 10 cancels, leave me with x plus 6 equals log 7. Subtract 6 on both sides, leave me with x equals, now be careful, that doesn't say 7 minus 6, log 7 minus 6, log 7 minus 6. All right, calculator, tell us what we got here. Log 7 
log 7. You know what? I'm going to make the mistake and not put the parentheses. And we're just going to put minus 6. Let's see what we get. We get 0. And that sure can't be correct because 10 to the 0 plus 6. Well, 0 plus 6 is 6. And surely 10 to the 6th power is not 7. So this illustrates the importance of putting those parentheses. So let's clear this and do it correctly. Log 7, close parentheses. We get minus 6. We get negative 1, what's that? Negative 5.155 ish. Well, let's check that. So 10 to the, that's my answer, plus 6. Let's see what we get. And there is the 7. So the answer is negative 5.155 if we round to the nearest thousand. 155. A few more to go. All right. 10 to the negative 5x equals 1,000. To get rid of this 10 first, because the negative 5 is part of the exponent, we're going to log on both sides. The entire negative 5x comes out in front, leaving us with negative 5x log 10 equals log 1,000. That log 10 cancels, leaving us with negative 5x log 1,000. Divide by negative 5 on both sides, x equals log 1,000 over negative 5. Well, we should notice without the calculator, but I'm going to still put it into the calculator with log 1,000 is. Log 1,000, let me close this. There it is, over negative 5. We get negative 3 fifths. Negative 3 fifths. But again, we do want to round it to the nearest 1,000. So that would give us the negative 0 0.6. So there's the negative 3 fifths. And there's the negative 0 0.600. 0, 0. And I would have to put these two zeros because it says round to the nearest 1,000. Before I do this one, some of you may have realized when I logged on both sides and got log 1,000, log 1,000 actually equals 3. 10 to the third power will give you 1,000. So you could have had the 3 right here, the 3 right here, and that would have been your negative 3 fifths. Next problem, 10 to the 7x minus 1. Again, out of the three numbers, the 10 is furthest, we'll log first. The entire exponent comes out in front. So that gives us 7x minus 1 times log 10. Log 10 cancels. Leave me with 7x minus 1. Log 22. So we'll take care of that 1 by adding 1 on both sides. 7x is equal to that log 22 plus 1. Again, we're not adding 22 and 1. Divide by 7 on both sides. Leaving us with log 22 plus 1 all over 7. So let's see what we get here. Don't want that. Uh, clear. That's my fraction. Log 22. Log 22. Close the parentheses. Plus 1. All over 7. Calculator tells us 0.334-ish some stuff. So let's go ahead and check this. So 10 to the 7x. So 7. Answer. Minus 1. Bam. There's the 22. So, 0.335 is the most correct answer. 0.335. Next couple problems. 10 to the 3x plus 5 minus 6 equals negative 5. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 numbers to get the x by itself. SADMEP says what's furthest from the unknown is this negative 6. So we're going to add 6 on both sides first. Leaving us with the 10 to the 3x plus 5 equals 1. Time to log on both sides, and then the entire exponent comes out in front. Leaves us with 3x plus 5 log 10 equals log 1. Of course, the log 10, that cancels. Now the log 1, if you thought about this, log 1 actually equals 0. Because log 1 base 10 says 10 to the what power will give you 1? Well, 10 to the 0 equals 1. So we're going to continue with this equaling 0. So that gives us 3x plus 5 equals 0. 
This takes us back to 8th grade. Subtract 5 on both sides, leaving us with 3x equals negative 5. Divide by 3, there's our answer, negative 5 thirds. But negative 5 thirds, it says round to the nearest thousand. So if we did round correctly, negative 1.667. Just to be certain, what is it, negative 5 thirds? So negative 5 divided by 3. There we go, negative 1.667. All right, last one. We've got one, two, three, four numbers to get rid of. What's furthest from the unknown is this nine. So I'll subtract nine on both sides. Leaves me with 10 to the 8x minus 1, 44 minus 9, 35. Out of the three numbers to get rid of, what's furthest is the base 10. That's why we'll log next. Power property brings the entire 8x minus 1 over. So there's the 8x minus 1, log 10 log 35. Log 10 cancels. That's my 8x minus 1. Two steps away from the answer. Let's go ahead and add 1 on both sides. Again, that's not 35 plus 1. Log 35 plus 1. Divide by 8 on both sides. So we get log 35 plus 1 all over 8. See what the calculator says. Uh, fraction. Log 35, log 35, plus 1, close that parentheses, plus 1, all over 8. Calculator says 0.318-ish. Let's check to see if this is right. So 10 to the 8, second answer, minus 1, move the cursor over, plus 9. Bam, there's the 44. So 0 0.318. 0 0.318. So now these are eight problems that I work through. Now these are the eight that you work through independently.